Hi, Yoga Fit family. I thought I'd go outside today just to see if it would work because look, it's so beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I'm exploring technology. We're all trying something new. Y'all know that's not my forte, but we're gonna give it a go. I guess I don't have to squat like that. Okay, so I thought today we'd start with just a few simple warm-ups, move into the ground, traditional Yoga Fit, three mountain flow. Again, we're all in this together. We're all feeling separate. A little concerned, uncertain, that's to say the least. So we have to move boldly into uncharted territory, uncharted waters. But remember, the navigation system is within us. So I'm trying to listen to it today, explore new options, new possibilities, new experiences. This is certainly one. So here we go. Normally I start laying down. I'm not going to do that today. Let's start standing. Let's just find our breath. Let's find our feet. Let's notice where we are in time and place. I found myself so often over the last couple of days just wanting to fast forward for this to be over. How do I make this go quicker? How do I control something that is uncontrollable? And I realize I'm a control freak. So here we go. I turn to something that is in control within me. There's something that is solid there that knows the essence of time, that knows what the future looks like, and I need to trust in that. So let's find that. Let's find our feet. Let's find awareness of our toes, maybe lifting our toes, squeezing our toes, wiggling our toes. As you guys know, we want to activate our vestibular system, so let's just gently rock forward, feel the pressure shift to the soles of the feet without gripping our toes, and then back into the heels of the feet. Maybe lift the toes a little bit, opportunity to feel the air, and then relaxing the toes heavy. And then let's just go ahead and rock side to side, heavy, relaxing the shoulders. Maybe we can imagine we're out on a boat. I think that's legal right now. So I want to find a boat for me. I'll meet you there. <laughs> and then pausing, finding center effortlessly. And then let's just feel our hands. Let's wiggle our hands. Let's roll the wrists around. Do a little proprioception work here. Move the elbows gently. Maybe start to roll the shoulders forward or back, I should say, and forward. And then just really find the shoulders hunching and maybe give ourselves a nice big hug here for the spine rounding. And then inhaling just gently wings to chest, feeling the thumbs expand, the soul, the heart lift. Exhaling, we're just gonna hug the other way, opposite shoulder, opposite rib, rib cage, hugging in. Inhaling, filling the lungs, filling the wingspan. Exhaling again, hugging in, moving with our breath. Inhaling, hearing our breath, exhaling. And one more time, inhaling. Let's go ahead and rotate the shoulders in, that hunched shoulder position. I found myself in that a lot the last few days, every time I turn on the news, right? And then now intentionally open, but from the upper back, as we keep the thumbs soft. Let's do that one more time. Exhaling, hugging in. Next shoulder space even comes inward. Inhaling, opening from the mid to upper back. And then flowing, extended mountain. Exhaling, sitting back into our chair. Toes stay light legs strong. Inhaling again, taking up a lot of space, reaching for the sky. Exhaling, drawing that energy into our heart that we're going to need here. Inhaling again, flowing with the breath. And as we continue to flow, this is a very important thing that's happening, right? We're resynchronizing ourselves. I'm feeling out of sync, out of sync in my own life. The rhythm of my own life has been disrupted. Um, my own natural rhythm, maybe that was unnatural. Maybe there is a Resyncing that's happening on a global scale. Can we find that? Can we feel that global resync that's happening to slow down, to take a big pause, to find our breath, renewed, recalibrated to this new energy, this information that is coming to us if we're open to receive it. And then one more time, inhaling, exhaling. Let's go ahead and come into a forward fold. We're gonna bring our hands to our hips. I'm gonna turn sideways now. I can't do that flip thing, you guys know that. So coming to the front of our mat, let's come into an easy forward fold with the knees bent, and we'll just add on to what we did. But let's first stop and do that vestibular activation. So rocking forward and back, maybe allowing the head to turn side to side. Again, grounding, maybe rocking side to side. A little wave-like action through the low back, through the neck, through the head, cheek bones heavy. And then pausing through center, inhaling halfway up. Belly, heart, shoulders soft and open. Exhaling, strong knee bend. Heavy heels, heavy hips into our forward fold. A little bit of caterpillar there with the spine. 
Inhaling, arms out to the side, pressing through our mat with our feet into extended mountain. Exhaling, sinking into our chair. Moving with our breath again, inhaling, extended mountain. Exhaling, hip hinge, swan dive, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway up to monkey, hands to the floor, to the shins, to the thigh. Exhaling, forward fold. Feel the belly rest to the side. Inhaling, arms out to the side again. Exhaling, coming into our chair. One more time, big breath, inhaling. Exhaling, swan dive, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhaling, let's just go ahead and take a step back with our right leg into a lunge, dropping our back knee down. Inhaling, just the right arm, let's just gently allow it to float up. And we'll do that a couple times. Exhaling, floating the arm down. Maybe reaching back, imaginary fisherman's net as we inhale, cast the fisherman's net forward. Exhaling, flowing with the breath. And again, one more time, inhaling. Maybe finding a little bit of lateral flexion, important to ground now, especially so left hand roots down. Maybe rotating pinky side of the hand back. Feeling the back of the neck release. Take a few deep breaths to the side body. And then exhaling, hands on either side. Let's go ahead and tuck the back toes, step the left foot back to a very easy downward dog. And we're just gonna pedal it out here for just a second. So downward dog, right? The hands are directly below the shoulders. The feet are one fist to two fist distance apart. We gently bend the knees, ground through the hands. And let's just flow here a little bit. Inhaling, shifting forward to our plank, knees up or down. Exhale, floating back into our downward dog with a lot of knee bend here with more strength to the legs. Inhaling, shifting forward again into some kind of plank, calm strength. Exhaling back as we find our legs even stronger. One more time, inhaling, shifting forward. As we do so, option to bring the left knee in and we'll just step the left foot forward, the right foot forward, back into a forward fold. Inhaling, halfway up. Moving with the breath. Feel free to go at your own pace, of course. Exhale, a little bit of caterpillar pose here, flowing inward. Inhaling, reversing our swan dive. Exhaling into our chair. Hearing our breath, moving with that rhythm. Inhaling. Exhaling, swan dive forward fold. Inhaling, halfway up, energizing the toes. Exhaling, let's take a big step back with the left foot. So just switching sides. We'll drop the right and our left knee down. Pausing to feel grounded first. Right hand is gonna root down heavy. So placing the right palm, let's feel the right leg bone heavier. Inhaling, flowing with the arm a few times. Again, finding our awareness here as we flow with the breath into the belly more. Right? Can we feel those smooth lines along the spine? Getting out of those rigid sort of sympathetic nervous system feelings of tension and tightness in the belly, in the back. I need a little bit more sense of relaxing, releasing it. That doesn't mean we let go of the sense of strength. It's just a different kind of strength. And then again, pausing. And as we do so intentionally grounding, relaxing the neck, but drawing in from the inner thigh up through the left hip bone to the left side of the waist. The breath is finding this freedom for the side of the spine. And then slowly releasing again. Let's go ahead and tuck the back toes. We're gonna to step the right leg back to our easy downward dog. And here in our downward dog, let's just go ahead and come high up onto our toes. As we do so, let's bend the knees super low if we can. And by the way, you can do this from your knees. As we move the belly towards the thighs a little bit, let's find stronger legs. So super size of strength in the legs. Find awareness to the pinky toes. Resist the ankles away from one another and then gently scoop the low belly in and draw the sits bones even farther back. And then slowly inhaling, shifting forward, coming into our plank flow. Remember knees can be up or down. Exhaling, shifting back. Grounding through knuckles, hands, legs heavy. Inhaling again, flowing with the breath, feeling the heart opening as we move forward to our plank. Exhaling, shifting back. The next time as we come forward, let's go ahead and all bring our knees to the ground. As we inhale, breathe the front of the body long and open. Exhaling, chaturanga, elbows hug it. Hopefully you can still see. <laughs> Inhaling, again, just a gentle cobra, top of the feet, gently grounding. 
drawing the tail in, check in. You gotta have that turtle-like neck here. Exhaling, melting everything to the earth. Pause. Let's gather our resources. Let's find what we can from the earth's energy and from gravity and from our bones, moving from that place, calm strength. Keeping our knees down, inhaling up through our nearly plank. Exhaling, extended child pose. Pausing in our extended child pose. Let's just come up into a little baby cat here. Maybe the hands are in a good place, maybe we need to walk them out. Really intentionally grounding through the hands, wrapping the armpits into each other, and then slowly getting some traction for the spine on the exhale. And we'll do that again. Inhale, little float up of the heart of the belly, little baby cat. Maybe the hands need to walk out even more. As if we're turning two mayonnaise jars opposite each other here from the upper back. Slowly, as we draw the low belly in, find more length for the low back. Sacrum draws back. One more time, big breath. Inhaling, maybe we even need more length for our hands here. Exhaling, the longest spine ever right now with the breath. Inhaling, floating forward. Let's come back into our downward dog. Again, easy downward dog. In our downward dog, let's go ahead and allow our left leg to be straight. We'll just bend our right knee. Float our right foot up and gently roll the right ankle around. Point flex the foot. And then as we find more awareness to the left leg, maybe bounce a little bit on this left leg, like a trampoline bounce. So we're not moving from tension. Fan the toes. Inhale, pressing the right foot up and overhead as we bend the left knee. So both knees are bent. Strong through both legs. It's called a scorpion dog. Exhale, slowly coming forward. So suspended runner's leg. You can, drink, you can draw the back knee down. Right foot to the right hand, let's pause. May have to help that out a little bit here. So option to bring back knee up or down. Right hand, same thing we did before. Right hand reach down, breathing the left leg long. Let's bring the left hand back. Find that fisherman's net, inhale, casting it forward. We're gonna do that a few times. Exhale, floating it back. Moving with our breath. Again, drop awareness into the belly, into the waist, into the back of the heart. Moving from that position. It's a different posture, right? We're moving with different awareness. And then when we're ready, one more time, we're gonna meet with the both arms overhead. Option to bring the right arm overhead as well. Pinky sides rotated back, softly through the thumbs, finding the back of the heart. Let's pulse this. Inhale, maybe straightening through the front leg. That's optional. Exhale, chest expansion. Draw it in. All that energy into the spine. Inhale. Exhaling. One more time, big breath, inhaling. As we exhale, let's bring our hands through heart center, pause. Shifting forward, let's take just a gentle twist. So, elbow can come across, back knee can come down, or we can just bring our hand to the inside of the right foot. You guys know we love choices. Take the choice that feels good today. As we inhale, we wanna breathe the spine long, relax the left hip as we exhale, just gently rotate. And again, inhaling, breathing into the right lung. Exhaling, let the breath find the spine, then the twist happens. And then slowly unwinding back through center, tucking the back toes, we're gonna to take a step forward into our forward fold, moving from the right leg, heavy, the feeling of connection in the belly, so that really slow, controlled movement. Left foot to the right, inhaling halfway up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, reversing. Exhaling into our chair. We'll pause here for just a second, making sure we can still see the toes, of course, toes light, maybe lift the toes a little bit. Uh, shredding the matter part with our feet as we spiral the inner thighs, right? Finding that sense of strength, maybe sitting down just a little bit more. And again, inhaling, breathing the heart open. Exhaling, swan dive, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhaling, sink. Let's go ahead and take a step back with the right leg and then the left, back to downward dog. Option four, extended child's pose. That's always your choice. Again, finding stronger legs here. Inhaling, coming high up onto our toes one more time. Reaching the heels back as if we're pressing them into starter blocks, right? So finding that sense of strength there. Breathing the belly open, so that greyhound dog stretching its haunches, right? That's a look we're going for, but really it's a feeling. It's a feeling of seeing open here through the belly, through the heart, but finding the strength more through the legs, 
lengthening through the spine. Again, head stays nice and relaxed. We're gonna inhale, shift forward, knees up or down. Your choice, you're at home, you can do what you want, right? Exhaling, chaturanga with control. Inhaling, gentle cobra, finding that imaginary animal tail, kind of sucking it in, head, neck, shoulders, super free. Exhaling, finding the earth. Again, gathering resources. The earth provides a lot of that, all that strong, calm energy. Arms hug in, low belly pulls up a little bit, knees down, inhaling, kneeling plank, exhaling, child's pose. Let's just pause here, maybe finding our knees a little wider, big toes together. For those of you at home with really tight ligaments around the knees or the ankles or just uncomfortable doing this, this is the posture we want to learn to do. It's super easy, super awesome actually. So the hips are high, the toes are tucked. You notice that you can really find an easier deep breath here in the belly. And that's where I like to focus, that psoas area, right, around either side of the spine. Maybe a future class. Looks like I have a couple of months to create lots of these, right? Future class will be a psoas release, which we probably all need right about now. So exploring that breathing muscle, yes, right next to the spine. One more nice, deep, thoughtful breath. Coming back here for any time or any time you need to. This is a place where we get a lot of the medicine that yoga delivers. Come here often. Otherwise, extended child's pose or back to our downward facing dog. And again, as we're here, just pedaling the knees nice and slow, taking our time. And let's just go ahead and rock now also right and left. Same thing we did with our hands. I really love the idea we want to, as often as we can, activate that vestibular system, our internal GPS. Really turns on the deeper limbic part of the brain where we know where we are in time and space. If we know who, where we are, we know who we are. Thank you, Dr. Dan Siegel. Right leg heavy, unweight the left foot. Again, gently roll the ankle around, point, flex the foot. Option to do this from the knees, that would look like sunbird flow, right? Otherwise, slowly, as we shift back, like a pair of broken scissors stuck in the middle, still scissoring the legs here a little bit. Fan the toes, lots of strength through the legs. Exhale, shifting forward. Again, practicing calm strength. What the world needs now, we gotta practice on our mats. Left foot to the left hand. Immediately find that sense of stretching the mat apart with the feet, at the same time gathering the inner thighs together, and we're gonna float right arm up, thumb stays soft, heart stays open. Exhaling, coming back. Maybe trailing the hands, right? Finding that opposite feeling. Inhale, growing the spine long. Exhaling, slowly coming forward. And again, one more time. Feeling of the heart blossoming open. Option for the left hand, rotating pinky sides back. Finding more awareness in the back body. So finding that back body strong as we keep the heart soft and open. Able to see and look in opposite directions here. Right? We can look for different choices, different paths. And when we're ready, slowly bringing the hands to our center, let's float that inhaling arms up, maybe lifting a little bit. Exhale, chest expansion. Again, inhaling, feel the hips float. Exhaling, stronger through the legs. One more time, big inhale. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Again, option to take some kind of prayer twist here, bringing the back knee down bringing the right hand to the inside. Sometimes I even open the leg up here a little bit, right, coming on the outer thigh. Just feels good, right? Especially on the left side. That's where we hold a lot of that tension of not processing emotions, right? The right side has it, and I'm good at that. You guys know that. Uh, yang in me is very strong pitta. But the left side is where that return flow comes in, right? And we need that to keep moving, especially during these stressful times. And then slowly coming back to your center. Remember, we want that Cirque du Soleil kind of lift into a forward fold. So shift more forward. You may have to drag or hop the back foot. I like to imagine my back leg is asleep as I slowly drag it in and then into my forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhaling sink. Maybe shift a little more forward to the soles of the feet here. Let the head hang. Maybe even that little sway. I feel the spine immediately relax and release. We are swimming in new waters, right? Notice the spine can't make the motion of swimming, right? Searching out again, new paths, new creative ways forward. Inhaling halfway up, exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, reversing, 
exhaling, coming into our chair, we'll move into our twisting chair. So twist again, a good way to release all that energy in the spine that's accumulating right now, but we don't wanna do it from that forceful way. So let's see if we can do it from a little different way, bringing maybe knees together. You guys know I like to use blocks here as well, if you want to, or a block between the thighs. Sinking as low as we can. Let's go ahead and start with our right hand across our left thigh. Left hand, let's find it to our left heart wall, left lung, so the palm there. And inhale, breathing into our hand, right? Feeling the left lung expand. Exhaling, let it completely release to twist as we keep drawing the right hip up. Again, inhaling, notice the heart stays open. A deeper breath, but really it's the exhale. Sinking even more. One more time, nice big breath, inhaling and exhaling. Slowly into our forward fold before we come to the other side. Maybe opening our feet up a little wider than hip distance. Right, maybe swaying again. I like to trail my hands on the ground, figure eight like, imagining Sandman. So we contrast for those more static holding strong poses, but then in the middle, there's something happening here as well. That's that resynchronization, recalibration of those systems through movement, through, through dynamic movement. Notice the freedom through the whole system. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring our feet back together. Inhaling halfway up, exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, reversing our swan dive, again, pressing strongly through the feet, exhaling into our chair. Again, if we want to bring the feet and knees, everything together, sitting low, check in with the neck, shoulders relax. Maybe intentionally draw shoulders by the ears and then back. Right hand is gonna to come to the right rib cage, left hand to the outer thigh, and again, breathing just into the right lung. Of course, that's impossible, but you can kind of get that feeling, right? <laughs> Exhaling, again, gently twisting, keeping the hips aligned. Two more times at your own pace. Finding your breath, maybe even finding a jaya breath here. And again, slowly, really intentionally unwinding back to our forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhaling, let's go ahead and take a step back with the right leg and then the left back to downward dog. And again, rocking side to side, nice and slow. Let's go ahead and pause. Feel the right foot, or I should say the left foot heavy, left foot heavy. Slowly lifting the right leg option for three-legged dog, we don't have to. And by the way, this is what it looks like if you wanna to come to your knees. Anytime we're in downward dog, you can come to your knees. Let's point the foot, foot flex the foot. Maybe open the right hip up, it's optional, keeping the right shoulder down, right knee bends. Maybe take slow circles, pillar is in my way, or slow circles around the right hip, heavy slow circles. Maybe go the other direction. And then pausing, opening. Now let's intentionally turn the right hip down and extend the right leg really straight and far back, and let's draw the right knee into the chest. We're gonna go ahead and bring the right foot through, left foot flat at an angle. So more of a wide stance, warrior one. And let's go ahead and pause here. Let's bring our left arm straight up to the side, something a little different, thumbs stay soft. As we exhale, imagine hugging a big beach ball as we curve forward, pressing through the outer foot, engaging through the inner thigh. If we feel this in the left knee, inner left knee, never good. Left heel farther back or shorten your stance up. Inhale, just floating the heart open just a little bit. Exhale, bring it in. And again, floating it open, we're just coming halfway up. Exhaling, bringing it in. Last time as we inhale, float the heart open in the other arm as we come back up into our warrior one, wide stance. Chest stays nice and open. One time we're gonna inhale, straighten through the front leg. Feel the pelvis align neutral, right? So we're lifting out of the tailbone. And then exhale as we bend the knees, chest expansion again. Need a lot of those these days, right? Thumbs stay soft. Breathing through the back of the heart. Feel the arms move with that breath. And then slowly option is to come to chest expansion by clasping the hands. You don't have to. Coming into our humble warrior. So grounding through the feet, especially the back leg. Option to bring the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee somehow. Head heavy, arms overhead. Option, you could just release the hands. I'm gonna show that now. Hands can come to the inside. You can just rest your hands to your thigh. Just come to a little baby cat. A lot of choices here, right? They feel different, but we all like choices. Every day is different. Again, one more nice big breath. And then as we release, we're gonna float back up into our 
crescent lunge, and then open up into warrior two. So now we turn left foot parallel to the back, right knee opens up, again, finding that alignment, even more so than ever. Where am I? Do I know where I am? I get in my head. So you guys know um, I have ADD, right? Figure that out. Yoga has been super powerful for grounding me back in my body, right? Keeping me present even during these uncomfortable moments where I would really prefer to check out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stay present here. So really, literally, where are my feet? Feeling ground. Let's go and inhale, straighten through the front leg, turning the palms open, finding the back of the heart. Let's exhale, draw the arms in, but from that awareness to the back of the heart, gathering all our energy as we bend through the front knee. Inhale, extending. Again, reaching the spine tall from the strength of the leg. Exhale, bending, bring it in. One more time, inhale. Slowly, as we inhale, continue the inhale, bring the arms overhead. Palms energetically reach towards each other. Exhale, turn the palms away as we bend through the front knee, coming into our warrior two. Finding our drishti, our soft gaze, through our right middle finger. Again, can we find more awareness here through the legs? Softening through the belly, though. Expanding through the heart. The mind is clear. We're going to simply turn the right palm up, left hand down. Let's reach and open up into reverse rear. So that is, of course, a sideways bend of the spine, right? Lateral flexion as opposed to a back bend. I see that done a lot, but instead, let's go for that sideways. You know, the side of the body here, Think of the side seam of your shirt. And think about breathing that open. Remember that breathing tube next to the spine on the right side, that right psoas. Let's see if we can find that feeling. We get congested energetically when we get stressed through the side of the body, right? We're kind of pulling like a snail in its shell. It makes sense. So here, can we stay a little bit more present through the side of the body energetically? And then exhale, we're gonna slowly pivot. Hands on either side of the right foot. Pivoting on the sole of the left foot, we're just going to take a gentle step back to our downward dog. Again, pedaling it out nice and slow. When we're ready, inhaling, we're going to do something different. Bring the knees down. Let's come into our cow flow. Again, trying to draw the mat back with the hands staying grounded. Check in so we can turn the head side to side. Now the feet, notice mine are tucked. You can have yours flat, whatever feels good. I kind of change that up every day. Depends on how I feel. Exhaling, feel the spine. That wave-like function of the of the spine is super cool as we press the mat through the hands or hands through the mat, draw the sacrum in. I like to do this sideways movement right in the middle of the spine. So adding in that lateral reflection, that dynamic movement of the spine. The spine is able to move this way. It's intelligent. Can we find that? Again, coming back through cat one more time. Inhaling through cow, creating a shelf through the arms, the chest, the heart, the throat move forward softly. And last time, exhale, back into our cat. And then finding neutral. Tucking our toes when we're ready, let's come back to our downward dog. Uh, finding our awareness through the right leg heavy. We're just switching sides. So left leg lifts. Again, point the foot, flex the foot, roll the ankle on. Bending the left knee, maybe opening the hip up. Again, exploring breath to create space through the left hip. And then gentle movement here as well. My cue is always sort of stirring heavy cookie dough batter. Lots of baking going on these days. Yes, comfort food feeling. Just add some healthy stuff in there. And then slowly turning the left hip down, left leg straight, reaching long. Exhale, suspended runner's lunge. And then left foot comes through, back foot flatten at an angle, warrior one. Right, slowly, let's go ahead and float the right arm up. Nice and slow, thumb relax. Exhale, bringing it down. Then let the hand trail. And again, inhale, open. Exhaling. And one more time, inhaling, left arm slowly finds it. Let's straighten through the front leg, um, distributing strength even through both legs. So think of that pyramid-like strength at the same time through the inner thighs drawing up. So that center channel of strength that runs through us. We want to see if we can find that lifting and notice that how that relaxes the shoulders. Different places of strength in the body. Exhale, bending through the front knee, chest expansion. Pausing here, let's float the arms, inhale. Out to the side, something different this side. Exhale, bring it in. One more time, inhaling. As we exhale, option to clasp the hands behind the body. Remember, that is just a choice. You can also just bring the hands to the inside of the left leg. We breathe out a really ground through the back foot as we come forward, bringing the left shoulder in. Again, whatever feels good. Notice my hands don't come together. I'm not trying to make them, that would hurt. 
Uh, my shoulders are more forward hunched, so that's just how I'm built. So I'm trying to do this in a way that's good for my body. You find your way.